everyone, I'm Laura Beth with SAMX and welcome to Planning for Success. Let's get started. Welcome, my name is Jenkins Ebenware and I am the Founder and Managing Director of SAMEX. I want to thank you all for watching all of our previous leadership episodes and I hope you found those helpful and that they've made a difference in your life. So I want to take a moment today to talk to you personally about leadership. Now many of us have had the experience of working for a not so great boss. Um, and I say this because it's very common for, for people who are really good at their jobs to get promoted into management. But when this happens, there's no leadership training that goes along with that. So the goal of these videos that we've provided so far have been to provide you with some quick tips that you can apply to your personal and your professional life. Now today, I'd like to talk to you about what I believe are the three most crucial goals for any leader. Now, if you're going to be effective when it comes to leading others, then you have to really first know what you want to achieve. Now, the job of a leader is to help a team accomplish a specific task in the shortest amount of time possible. But in order to do that, you need to figure out what the most important tasks are that will move the company forward. I keep watching and in a moment I'll talk about how to find out what those tasks are and goals are but let's move on to what the three goals are now the first is to reach set objectives and the first goal that you should have as a leader is to reach a set objectives in other words you need to create a measurable target for yourself and for your team that you can all work towards and once you've done that you'll be able to start plotting the most efficient things to do to get there. Now your targets might be to increase your profits. It might be to grow your customer base or it might be to turn over more inventory. Whatever it is, you can then create and measure your effectiveness as a leader by how well you're moving toward these goals and how well your entire team is moving towards these goals as well. Now the second and most important goal, the second and most important, what I think is the most important goal for a leader is to keep your team happy and safe. Um, this is a very crucial goal for any leader and I believe you know your goal should be to look out, look after your team, whether you're a manager, whether you're a, a, a parent, you know, that, that's your leader there, whether you, you lead the scouts, Wherever you are in charge uh, of, of people, that means taking responsibility. Now, not only are you taking responsibility for getting the tasks completed, you're also responsible for the well-being of those that you manage. And your job is to provide a safe and comfortable working environment where, the, where they can feel happy and therefore work their best. So you want to pay attention to the mindset and the well-being of your employees. You know that really goes a long way uh, to just creating an environment where everyone feels feels safe and then they can work effectively. And if something happens to them under your care, you know that's that's on you, unfortunately. So you need to be be careful with that. Now the third goal for a leader is to grow and develop the team. Now, a, a good leader is, is simply not someone who keeps the ship afloat. You know, um, as a leader, you should always have your eye on the bigger picture, and you should know how your company and your department needs to grow, and how all the team members and individuals within your company need to grow, both as individuals and as a team. And this might mean investing a little more time and money in R&D so that you can develop 
new ideas and and use these ideas to take your organization and your company to, to new levels and work more effectively and innovate better. If you're you know if you're a parent and you want to apply some leadership skills there, you know you can start thinking about how you can take your family to the next level financially and how you can you know improve your life and and your your work life balance. Um, or if you want to apply this to the workplace, you can think again about how you can provide your team members with opportunities to grow in their careers um, so that they can also get that feeling of moving forward, just like you are as a leader. So I hope that you keep these three goals in mind as you work towards becoming a leader or as you work towards becoming an even better leader. And if you like these three goals, click below to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Um, and if you don't want to wait until next week when we have the next one ready, then visit our website, samx.io, where we have a lot of articles and free workshops that can get you improving your leadership skills for business. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.